welcome to a new video i hope you are staying safe and healthy and in this video i am painting easy loose poppies i'm going to quickly go over the materials i am using my windsor and newton watercolor brushes my fill butt brush in a size 2 and my round brushes in the sizes 3 and 5 my montmartre watercolor set my medium size chinese brush and my 300 GSM Montmartre watercolour pad and my Unibor Eye Black Pen. The day that I decided to paint this was just one of those days where you overthink things and tend to be a little bit more dramatic than usual. So I decided that I make this simple, easy watercolour painting that anyone can try. For this painting you just need a few pretty colours that go well with each other and know how to draw a simple sketch of flowers. If you're thinking I don't know how to draw flowers, I will give you a few pointers so don't worry. Okay, so the first thing I did was to do a sketch of the flowers. This is the time for you to mess up and adjust where you want the flowers to be and give you an idea of where to put your paint and add the pen after painting. To do this sketch, you want to choose reference photos where you can clearly see the lines that define the edge of the petals. So don't choose blurry photos, preferably photos where you can see a close-up of the flower and where you can still see the entire flower. When doing the sketch, you want to draw the flower as if it were a line drawing or something as if drawing a stencil for a colouring book drawing defining lines that mark out each petal clearly. Try not to overcrowd the page and try to make sure that there is enough space around each flower or bud or whatever you choose to have in your painting so that you have more room to add the paint. If you are less confident with pen drawing then your sketch here should be as detailed as the pen drawing you want to add later on. But if you are, then you can try doing a sketch with water soluble pencils, just in case the pencil smudges with your watercolour. The sketch doesn't have to be exact, but make sure that you take your time with this step and finish when you are happy with it. Now for the fun part. For beginners it can be difficult to loosen up and just put the watercolour down on the page. So this is your chance to let loose. You can wet the page first, make sure that your page is quite damp. I am using my Chinese brush because it is larger and can hold more water. Wet your brush and get a good amount of paint. If you want it to be softer then you can add less paint and for a more vibrant look then you can add more paint. But start lighter and softer first as you can always make the paint darker and more saturated. The page needs to be wet but not too wet that there are puddles on your page. Then you want to add your colour with the page still wet. I did add the warm colours of the flowers first and then the greens and the blues in another layer as I don't want them to mix together to make muddy browns. You can paint outside the lines of your flowers as long as it is in the general area. Then once the layer is dry then you can go in again to add more softer but darker areas. Again with the wet on wet technique. You can also make loose strokes to suggest grassier areas or define the shadows of the petals.
Now that you have finished the loose watercolor painting stage and the page is completely dry, you can add the pen to the finer petals, stem and buds in your painting. Now for the pen drawing, it's really up to you how you want to draw them as we all have our own preferences and drawing habits and there isn't really a wrong way of doing this. I will suggest that you start off simple first with less detail because as you know, removing pen marks is harder than making them, at least with my type of pen. Also, try not to overdo it with the pen as you also don't want to cover up all the work from your watercolour painting. So make meaningful marks but also make loose playful marks. But then again, it depends on what you want your drawing to look like. And that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.